Decorating the tree has now begun. We are currently applying the lovely taupey marble S baubles that hopefully you can see there. There we go. So yeah, this is currently where we are at, but a lot more to come. So getting back to it. So we have now added on the stars. Hopefully you can see them. Okay, so it's very, very festive. Still a little bit further to go. Getting there. Tree topper not on yet. Yeah, we are getting there. part of the tree sorry um, to give the tree dimension because you've got these lovely ones that are front and center and then you've got the stars that are also front and center and actually putting these ones these smaller stars in the back again really gives the tree dimension so if I stand back you will know what I mean can you see that now you've got some different layers, inner and then outer, which again I think is a really lovely way of just adding dimension into the tree. It's looking really, really nice, I think. Now I am torn between whether I add any more. Do I add any more to this? Because I don't really want the tree to be overly, overly dense. I quite like having just enough with the decorations. So I do still have these left. And if you watched my last video, you would have known that these are not my absolute favorite. So do I add them or not? What do you think? Is it overkill? Does it add? Does it actually take away? I'm not sure yet. I will let you know what I decide to do. Hmm. 
Now for the Fiesta Resistance, there's this absolutely gorgeous tree topper that again I showed in my last video and I cannot wait to add this beautiful, almost embroidered star. I mean look at that detailing, I mean it's just super super gorgeous and I really genuinely hope this actually fits and sits right because if you watch one of my other videos my tree stand was an absolute nightmare um, because my tree uh, the base of it is actually too slim for the tree stand so I spent literally about two hours trying to hack it or DIY it eventually I managed to get it to work but I'm hoping I'm not going to be updating you two hours later so I have turned off the lights so you can see the lights partially on. So it has taken me absolutely ages to figure out the right way to put Christmas lights on. I even had to watch a YouTube video that wasn't really that helpful. Um, and therefore I decided to basically freestyle it and completely have a moment to just play. So what I ended up doing it's taken me about an hour to be happy with this is I wrapped it around the Christmas tree like so so it's wrapped around and then I really really got a bit of inspiration and decided to allow some of the lights to dangle that's so pretty. So I really like the idea of the lights actually dangling. And then I decided to basically add a star at the bottom. So it almost looks like it's like a piece of jewelry for the tree. So let me see if I can show you what that looks like a little bit further back. So this is the current state of things including my tree topper. So that is what it's currently looking like. So I still have one more row of lights to add on. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. So let's get into it. 